Yeah, look. Whoa, you just grew? See, I wouldn't date you. Why not? Yeah, because you're short. I'm short. Yeah, you got pretty eyes, but... You have pretty eyes, too. I know, thank you. How tall are you? I'm like... 5'11". Okay. And then the shoes... Uh, like, extra height. Okay, though. Alright, listen, listen. Let me get your phone number. Nah. Let's go on a date. Nah. I had, had this friend. He was 5'4", extremely athletic, charming, kindest guy ever, super competitive, the nicest man, extremely attractive, really good dancer, life of the party. And a year before he took his own life, he opened up to me one night and he explained to me that he'd been suffering in silence and he was extremely depressed because his entire life he had been ridiculed and he had been picked on because of his stature. And he told me what hurts the most out of everything that he had ever been through is how women would never take him seriously because of his height. He start talking to a girl and what's the question they always ask gentlemen every time you start talking to a girl how tall are you he never made it past that point and when he did make it past that point because the question was never asked or he never gave that information he was told to his face every single time even when they started dating for a little bit or whatever that they could never be together because he was too short I can't imagine what it was like to live in his shoes and we talked about it more and more and everyone tried to encourage him but he got into alcohol it spiraled out of control he got severely depressed and he ended up taking his own life my point is this Right? You never see a guy anywhere from five foot to five four. I think that's because they all killed themselves. Well, maybe not all of them. Some of them are probably at the gym. Height, one of the main elements that determines a man's overall attractiveness, it's almost as important as facial attractiveness, coming as a close second. And it beats body by a long shot. On my channel, I did many videos talking about height with research done on the matter. You guys can check them out and obviously we learned that short guys have it pretty rough in dating and life in general. And that women's standards when it comes to dating are rising unlike the last generations to the point that 5'10 and 5'11 has become the new short. But these are just what the studies say. But what about people's own personal experiences, mainly shorter men? And the best way to get personal testimonies is by visiting our old friend Reddit. Is the experience of being short as bad and terrible as the black pill make it out to be? Or is it not as bad and can it be walked around? Well, let's read people's replies and find out then. If you want to support the channel and get your face evaluated by me with personalized look max and advice, link will be down in the description. If you want to read more about topics like this, you can check out my blog at neurofacerating.com. Without further ado, let's get this video started. So today's testimonies will be taken from r slash short subreddit. And the main question was, do people treat you differently if you are below 5 foot 5? Which is a good question, if anyone suffers from being short are guys who are 5'5 and below. The original post was deleted, but we are gonna look at the replies instead, let's get into it. Reply number 1. Only difficulty is dating, making new friends is easy and most people could care less about their friend's height. Now I usually tend to agree with this one. The second reply is from a girl which will give us a unique perspective. I think a lot of girls have a hard time dating guys who are shorter than they are. But it's not about how tall someone is objectively as much as the difference between them. Not all, but a lot. I am 5 foot 8 and dating someone who is 5 foot 3 would make me feel bad about my own body. I've also noticed that most guys shorter than me feel similarly insecure about me being taller when we go out. So there's that too. Like if I wear heels and I'm almost a foot taller than the person I'm with, it just feels uncomfortable. I'm not saying it's justified, just being honest. It's just insecurity and not cool at all. But if you want to know where it comes from from a lot of us, that's it. There's a lot of correlation between classic female beauty and dizziness. Or wherever and wherever or not it should be that way. When we are way taller than a guy sometimes, it makes us feel like big gross ogre people. That doesn't make us feel sexy and it sucks to be around someone you're dating and not feel sexy. That said, are plenty of girls in the world under 5 foot 3 and also some girls who aren't insecure that way like me. And some still who actually prefer shorter men. Which is, in my opinion, pretty cap. This reply is pretty sad and brutal. I am 5'5 five five and I can say I have difficulties making friends and in general I am reserved. The thing is that in real life situations I feel like garbage and somebody not worth talking to, which is a consequence of how other people see me. Dating is super hard. The only thing that helped me gain confidence is hitting the gym and seeing some changes on my body. However, due to the coronavirus, I stopped going to the gym and thus lost pretty much of what I gained. And now again I am unnoticed. I have noticed that people look at me in a condescending way showing pity, laugh at me and comment on me and do not consider me smart enough even though I have bronze medals in mathematical olympiads. I am unattractive as well. 
so it might be this rather than my height or a combination of the two, who knows. The only problem I have right now is that I need to focus on my exams and I can't because I have got depression. Every time I think about this, I just wish I wasn't born. I am 22 and I am ashamed of admitting that I am still a virgin. I have hidden every picture I have of myself so that nobody has access to it. Because my parents are all like, why are you hiding your pictures? As if they don't understand crap. What I have come to understand is that life is wonderful when you are actually enjoying it. When you suffer from it, you wish you didn't live. But the problem is you have to live even if you don't want to. Everything I say is just about me. There are many people enjoying their lives and living well. And this last reply encompasses the experience of most short guys. 100 centimeter guy here. I have not had issues with work or making friends, but dating is definitely an issue. I get right swipes and messages, but once they see me or ask about height, it does not work out well. I was talking to this girl until yesterday. She basically said my height was a deal breaker. Most women nowadays don't have trouble finding men if they want to date or hook up. Guys bend over backwards for any woman to get laid and women know it. As a result, as a woman, if you have a pick of any guy you want, why would you date a 160cm guy? Makes sense from their perspective, I am also a brown guy, so it does not help either. I am educated, employed guy and would prefer to date someone like me who is career focused as well. But it's impossible since they get their pick of what kind of men they want. You guys share your own stories down in the comment section. That's it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, a like and subscribe will be highly appreciated and like usual, catch you guys in the next one.